Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to walk through the American vowels by using the sounds that are already familiar with Burmese people. In the previous video I've explained about the British vowels. If you haven't watched the video on vowel system, I highly recommend you to check it out first and then come back to this video. The link is in the description. Anyway, let's get started. American vowels can be classified into monophthong and diphthong. Monophthong is a single vowel, which means the tongue at the beginning and end of the vowel is fixed. Diphthong is a gliding vowel, which means the tongue position changes during the articulation. Let's take a look at monophthongs. There are 10 monophthongs in American English and the vowel length is not very different. If we compare them with the Burmese vowels, we can modify them to get the nearest sound of American vowels. Okay, let's look at each of them. The first one is very close, so we can just use the sound E. Examples would be tree, key, sleep, receive, indeed. Next one. This one is also very close, and we can also use the sound U. Examples would be lose, move, choose, shoot, group. Next one. This one also will just use all. Examples would be walk, fall, saw, talk, door. Next one. This one is very close to a. Ah. We'll use the sound a. Ah. It's not very long like a. Ah. It's a little bit long. A. Ah. Examples would be body, heart, job, shop, top. Next one. This one again, we'll just use it a. Eh. For example, Bell, bat, and wind, yes. Next one. This one doesn't have similar sound, but we can shorten e and we'll get i. Eh. For example, big, did, fish, give, this. Next one. This one, same situation as the previous one, will shorten u and get u. Uh. For example, book, good, foot, could. Push. Next one. This one is quite near to R, but it's pronounced really short. We can use A. Uh. For example, bus, cut, touch, luck, above. Next one. The mouth is more open than A eh, and it's just a bit longer. It's A. Eh. For example, bag, bat, flat, cat, apple. Next one. This vowel has three symbols. The first one is unstressed vowel. The other two are R color vowels. Let's look at them. The first one is a special vowel. It even has a name. It's called schwa. It's pronounced e. Uh. The mouth is in neutral position and it's unstressed vowel. Let's look at examples about balloon, police, today, occur. All of them have unstressed first syllable. Next one. This one is schwa with R sound. It's used when the R follows a schwa vowel. It's still unstressed. It's pronounced R. Er. Actor, doctor, teacher, sugar, picture. You can hear that all of the last syllables are unstressed. Next one. This one is stressed version of previous vowel. You just have to pronounce it longer and louder. It's pronounced R. Er. For example, First, burn, dirty, work, hurt. Now we have learned all the monophthongs and the way to pronounce them. Let's look at diphthongs. Diphthongs are basically two vowels combined into one. You can pronounce them by shifting from the first sound to the second sound in a continuous manner. There are five diphthongs in American English. Let's look at them. This one is A, for example, face, nature, table. Day, great. Next one. This one is I. For example, lie, smile, time, cry, I. Next one. This one is OI. For example, avoid, choice, boy, annoy, toilet. Next one. This one is OW. For example, about, cloud, now, house, proud. Next one. This one can be described with O, 
Although it's the fun. For example, home, most, both, go, no. Now we have learned all the diphthongs too. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you, everyone. Be sure to like or subscribe to my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Bye bye.